Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the differentiation of logarithmic function. So first, the derivative of the natural logarithm function. If y is equal to ln x, then d over dx, ln x is equal to 1 over x. If u is a differentiable function of x, then according to the chain rule, so d over dx, ln u is equal to 1 over u times du over dx. So, susundan lang natin ito para makuha natin yung derivative ng natural logarithm, logarithmic function. So, for example, number 1, find the derivative of y is equal to ln, the quantity of 12x. So, yung u natin dito is yung 12x. Okay, so first, so the dy over dx is equal to, so sundan natin ito, so, again, yung sa given natin, ito yung u natin, yung sa loob ng parenthesis. So, 1 over, so copy yung 12x times, then kunin natin yung derivative ng u natin. So, d over dx of 12x. So, ano yung derivative ng 12x? That is 12. So, copy 1 over 12x times, so again, yung derivative ng 12x is 12. So, i-multiply lang natin kay 12. And then, so, 1 times 12, that is 12 over 12x. So, ito cancel natin. So, pwedeng ang sagot na lang natin is 1 over x. Another example. So, find the derivative of y is equal to ln, the quantity of 6x cubed. So, ano yung u natin dito? So, yung u natin dito, yung 6x cubed. So, kagaya ng ginawa natin sa example number 1, susundan lang din natin yung uh, process nito. So, dy over dx is equal to 1 over 6x cubed. Again, yung 6x cubed natin is yung, yung u natin times the derivative of 6x cubed. So, what is the derivative of 6x cubed? That is 3 times 6, 18, tapos bawat sa nyo exponent. So, that is 18x squared. Okay, so 1 times 18x squared. So, 18x squared over 6x cubed. So, ito pwede natin i-divide. So, 18 divide 6, that is 3. And then, since itong x squared natin sa x cubed, pwede rin i-divide. So, dito natin ilalagay yung x sa uh, denominator kasi mas mataas yung 3 sa 2. So, the final answer is 3 over x. So, another example, we have find the derivative of y is equal to ln, the quantity of 6 minus 3x squared. So, yung u natin dito is yung 6 minus 3x squared. So, sundan lang ulit natin yung formula natin. So, that is 1 over yung u natin. I-copy natin yung 6 minus 3x squared times. Kunin natin yung derivative ng u natin which is 6 minus 3x squared. And ano yung derivative ng 6 minus 3x squared? That is 2 times negative 3. That is negative 6x. So, copy lang natin ito. So, times sa derivative niya. So, 1 over 6 minus 3x squared times negative 6x. So, that is 1 times negative 6x. That is negative 6x over 6 minus 3x squared. Yung denominator natin, pwede natin i-factor since uh, may common factor silang 3. So, yung common factor ng 6 ka 3 is 3, no? So, that will be negative uh, 6x over 3 times the quantity of 2 minus x squared para makancel natin ito. So, negative 6 divide 3, the answer is negative 2x all over. So, ang maiwan na lang sa baba kasi nga makakancel natin yung 3. So, ang maiwan na lang sa denominator natin is 2 minus x squared. So, again, the final answer is negative 2x over 2 minus x squared. Example number 4, find the derivative of y is equal to ln, the quantity of sine x. So, ano yung u natin dito? Sin x. So, that is 1 over sin x times the derivative of sin x. So, sa mga previous video lesson natin, ano yung derivative ng sin x? That is cosine x. So, copy 1 over sin x times cosine x. So, 1 times cosine x. Okay, so that is cosine x over sin x. So, di ba sa trigonometric function natin? So, cosine over sin that is cotangent x. Okay. Example number 5. So, find the derivative of y is equal to, so, ito ay uh, magkasama, no, yung nasa loob ng bracket, 
ln times the quantity of sin x times cosine x. So, dito class, para makuha natin yung derivative nito, so, gagamit, gagamit tayo ng product rule. Okay? Yung product rule. So, dy over dx, kung saan ito yung u natin at ito yung v. So, una, imumultiply natin ito sa derivative ng cosine x. And then, ito naman, si cosine x, imumultiply natin sa derivative ng ln uh, sin x. So, copy ln sin x times yung derivative ng cosine x is negative sin x plus yung cosine x, copy cosine x times yung derivative nito. So, gagamitin natin ito pagkuha ng derivative nito. So, that is 1 over sin x. Okay, so 1 over sin x times yung derivative ng sin x is cosine x. And then, copy lang natin ito. So, pwede natin ilagay sa unahan ng negative sin x, ln the quantity of sin x. So, ito hindi natin sila pwede i-multiply kasi ito magkasama yan sila. Plus, cosine x times 1, that is cosine x over sin x, tapos may cosine x pa tayo, times cosine x. So, cosine x over sin x, that is, uh, so copy again, plus cotangent x cosine x. Or pwede rin, class, kung ang ginawa nyo, cosine x times 1, times cosine x, magiging cosine squared x over sin x, yung sagot natin. So, pwede rin yun. So, again, the final answer will be negative sin x ln, the quantity of sin x plus cotangent x cosine x. So, we also have derivative of logarithmic function other than the natural logarithms. So, we have d over dx of logarithm of x with base b is equal to 1 over x ln b. So, yung b dito is yung base if u is differentiable function of x, then uh, the d over dx log u with base b is equal to 1 over u l and b times du over dx. So, sundan lang din natin ito para makuha natin yung derivatives ng logarithm natin. So, of number 1, find the derivative of y is equal to the logarithm of the quantity 3x plus 2 with base 2. So, yung u natin dito is yung 3x plus 2 at yung b natin dito is yung positive 2. So, again, copy this one in this process. no So, 1 over, so yung u natin is 3x plus 2 times yung b natin which is 2. So, ln, the quantity of 2 times, kunin natin yung derivative ng u natin. So, what is the derivative of 3x plus 2? That is 3. So, 1 over the quantity of 3x plus 2 times ln 2 times 3, that will become 3 over 3x plus 2 times ln 2. So, pwede nang ganyan. So, yung ibang uh, teacher, inaano pa nila, dinidistribute pa yung ln 2 dito sa loob. Pwede 3x ln 2 plus 2 ln 2 yung sagot. Okay, so ito pwede na yan. So, another example, find the derivative of y is equal to the quant uh, logarithm of 5x squared plus 4 with base 3. So, yung u natin dito is yung 5x squared plus 4. So, sundan lang ulit natin dito, 1 over 5x squared plus 4 times ln3 times yung derivative ng u natin which is 5x squared plus 4. So, what is the derivative of 5x squared plus 4? That is... 10x. Okay, so that is 10x. So, multiply 1 times 10x, then copy yung logari uh, denominator natin. So, it will become 10x over 5x squared plus 4 ln3. So, that will be the final answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.